Hi guys, I'm back with another mini. This time I will be using Coco and Claire, Claire gel polish. Um, so I have my, um, I prepped my nails as I, you normally would for a regular gel polish mani. So I did all that great stuff. Um, just to see how much wear I could get out of this. And I've used it, um, I bought the kit back in 2019. Um, and just kind of put it to the wayside for dip powder. Um, but I'm busting it back out. So, um, like I said, I prepped my nails. I'm applying clean to the five nails there. And I will be uploading a video about the wear and the removal process with um, Coke on Claire. I'll try to link that in the cards. I've never done that before. So hopefully I can get that done. Um, so I'm applying clean. And then I'm going to apply prep. Prep is what you apply to the tips or the free edge of your nail. I think it helps your mani stay on longer. Um, but and you'll see when I um in the other video the wear that I got out of this mini. So guys, just hang out with me while I do this gel polish application. Okay, so this is the peel off base coat. This is what makes this gel polish soak off using water it is very thick and when i say thick it is thick sometimes it could be even um i found it even hard to apply um but i do like coco and claire brushes and this gel polish can be kind of pricey um in my opinion compared to you know you can get beetles on amazon things like that but whatever again like i said you get what you pay for um but you can see how thick it is i was able to <laughs> put a little bit on those three fingers just to kind of get it off the brush um and so i'm just making sure i'm just taking my sweet time i have my um magnification glasses on I'm trying to make sure that i don't get it on my skin um and i don't know how good of a job i did that with that but um just make sure I get that uneven coat with the um, peel off base. Yep, so y'all see what that band-aid was covering up in that other video that I posted from a new my new that magnetic gel polish. That's why I scraped my skin. It's hard now, so I was able to take the band-aid off. But that, that little booger hurt. But I just wanted to chime in and say that. I'm just using a gel polish brush with a little bit of alcohol to clean up any um, of the peel base that I may have gotten on my skin um, because I am doing a wear test and I want to make sure that um, at least I have some good results. But, you know, my polish job isn't the best. But um, so I'm just cleaning it up and I've cured that in the Cocoa and Clara lamp, but I didn't record that piece. So the colors that I'm using, Total Eclipse, which is black, Wellness, which is a pearl pearl pink and oh my i forgot what that is but i'll link the colors in here um which is a really nice glitter pink and guys um so if you ever decide to buy a coco and claire um i think there's some youtubers out here that have discount codes i bought these polishes during the black friday sale i always buy them when they're on sale because i think they run about 
are they like 17 16 13 dollars anyway but you can go on the website and see so um, I'm just going in and applying two coats of each color to my nails and I'm doing my thumb off camera
Okay, guys, of course, I couldn't leave well enough alone. So I'm going in and using my Poshinel decals. Uh, Pretty Please Bring Me Peonies. Um, and that's why I chose the gel polish colors of pink and black because of the color of the Poshinel decals. So I'm just have a paper towel, water, cut the decals, my um, nail stamper, and a makeup sponge to soak off excess water so um if you're doing this what i should have done is put a layer of strong down so i could have more of a sticky base the, my index finger applied fine like the decal went out went um on okay no problems i thought i had enough you know sticky layers so that one did fine but um or actually it was my index finger that didn't do fine so i was able to get the decal on my ring finger and it stayed um and i was able to move that and you know lay it as flat as possible on my nail but my index finger or my pointer finger gave me it just wouldn't stick and i was like what the heck so i had to go in with layer strong because you think gel polish you have that inhibition layer which is the sticky layer it should apply on there but it didn't so again i'll apply strong and then i'll go back in and reapply that that nail decal <laughs> Okay, so I have weird nail beds they kind of get wide so that decal did not cover um, the entire nail so you guys know I'm going in and put on put some rhinestones in there so I'm just taking again that same cleanup brush with some acetone and that will um, to clean up any decal that is um, on my skin before I go in and apply strong which is another cocoa and clear product that you can use for weak or um, damaged or thin nails you can use that for added support you can also use strong as a base coat if you don't want to peel the um gel polish mani off with water you would have to soak it off of course with acetone instead of water and another thing um it's going to depend on the person um i think the longest i've ever gotten out of a coco and claire mani is every seven days i think um, I don't remember going longer than that. And that's just me. Regular gel polish without pull-off base lasts that long on me. Um, so it, it's not alarming to me the um, the wear that I get from this gel polish. <laughs>
Okay, so after I went in with Strong and cured that, um, I'm then applying Top Coat and I will apply rhinestones. I'll just tell you guys that these rhinestones, a lot of them came off like um, maybe four days. I will have like one that popped off and I had one nail um, that all the rhinestones came off by the time I was ready to soak off this mani. So what I probably should have done is applied the Strong, put down the, um, apply the rhinestones, then cure and then go on with Top Coat, but I didn't, but anyway. Hey guys, so after I cured um, with the top coat with Deshaun, um, I should have put some doggone lotion on them dry hands, but um, I'm going in with my Grimes Ridge Cuticle Oil. This is um, apple cider. It comes, you can get it in a roller ball or you can get it in a dropper. I have both. I bought those again Black Friday um, on sale and I'm just rubbing that in um, and I will eventually put some lotion on my dry hands, but um just rubbing that in and i think i'm going to show you so that's the finished look i hope you guys like it you always want to finish your mani with cuticle oil and again i will have video linked in the cards um hopefully um with the wear but see it comes in a dropper in a cuticle ball so guys thanks for watching have a good week i will see you next week